There might be times when we want to analyze our data by just looking at a chart and then be able to change the variables around in it. So I've got some pretend data here of some four salespeople who have been selling um, items in a bakery. And now we've got a graph showing the, um, the, the, the money they've been bringing in, so their sales. Now we can come into here and we can actually customize this so we can just pick up what Betty and Belinda have been done. And then we might want to just choose what item they've been using. So those two there. And I might also want to come in and choose the quarter that we're looking at so we can see the sales. So all these things here are possible by using these little tools at the top here, which are called, top of my screen here, which are called slices. So these little things here are like a filter that then filter our data. So how do we do that? So on this other sheet here, I actually have my raw data. So this is all the sales that we've got, and I've just made this up, so it's quite simple, but I've got the name of the salesperson, the item, the quarter, and the sales they've made. So how do we put that together so we've got this dynamic chart here which changes with whatever we want to select. So if I just want Brenton in there as well, I can now add a third one in there and I can see the sales. So how do we do that? Well, there's three steps to it and we'll show you how to do that right now. The first step is to come to your data and create a pivot table because we want to summarize our data really quickly. So the easiest way to do that is just to highlight the data that you want. So I'm just going to go Control A or Command A on my data and it selects all of my data. And then I'm going to come up to the data tab up here. And halfway down in here, we have a thing called pivot table. And all pivot table is, it basically collates and summarizes our data for us. And it comes up with this straight away. It says, do you want to create a new pivot table for that range of data, which I've got? And do you want to put it in a new sheet or an existing sheet? So I'm going to create a new sheet. And what it does is it drops it in like this. And at the moment, there's no values being shown here because it doesn't know what we're looking for. So my question is, what are my salespeople selling and when are they selling them and how much money are they making? So my rows come across to my little pivot editor over here on the right hand side of my screen. If I go to add, it now tells me which rows I can add in there for that first one. So I'm going to grab salespeople. Now let me just pull out and let me have a look over here. And now we've got the salespeople there listed down. You can leave the totals if you want, but I don't want to, so I'm going to take that out. And then my next ones are going to be my values. What things am I going to be looking for from this data? So in my values, what I'd like to know is the item, which is good. I want to add as well the sales. Okay, And at the moment, what it's doing is it's adding up the sales for me and counting the number of items. So that's great. It's all I really want to be able to see at the moment, and that looks pretty good. To get rid of this pivot edit uh, window on the right hand side, I just hit the cross and away it goes. Now over here, what I like to do is I just want to rename these because for me, count of items and sum of sales is a bit kind of, I don't need that. So on here, I can just double click on it with my mouse, type in item, and over here, click double click at the top there where the sum of sales is, and then type in just sales because that's really all I need. Fantastic, so now I've got all the information I need to be able to draw a chart. So what I want to do now is I want to have the salespeople in one part of my chart and I want to have the sales in the other part of my chart. So I highlight this one here, then hold down Command or Control, highlight the next column down, come to Insert, come to Chart, and it's going to drop a chart in there straight away for me to look quite nice underneath my table. And notice that it's grabbed the values that I want. So in here, I'm just going to change this, just go sales, because that's what I'd like. And because I've got the chart editor over here, I'm going to come in here and just change my text color around to that. So it looks a bit nicer for me. Beautiful. So now I've got a chart which is static, which is grabbing the data from my pivot table and showing it in here. So now what I'd like to do is actually bring in a slicer. So what we need to do is we need to come back to our original data and at the moment it's still highlighted. Let's pretend it's not highlighted. If I can come into here and just go Control A or Command A, it'll highlight the whole lot for me. And then what I would like to do is go to Data and Slicer. So I'm gonna come back to where my pivot table is living, which is in here. I know I've got my data selected on the other side. Go Data, go Slicer, and it comes into here and says, okay, I'm gonna slice up my pivot table E1, which is just sitting on this page here but I want it to go back to my original data. So I'm just gonna delete that out. 
I'm going to come back to my sheet one and I'm going to come into here and I'm just going to com copy all of it, I think. Let's go grab the whole lot. So Command A again and go OK. And that's going to grab that data there to be able to do a slice with. Now, what it first comes up with, it says, OK, you need to select a column first. On the right hand side of your screen, you now have the ability to choose a column that's going to be in your slicer. So the title up here is slicer and then underneath it, you can choose a column. And notice it's given me the capacity to apply to a pivot table, which is what I want. So if I click on here and I go, you know, the first one I want to have in my slicer is a salesperson. Cool. And then now it's got the name salesperson up there. I can come in here and choose which ones I want to be able to have. So let's go Betty and Brian, and then I'll just have Betty and Brian's information there, which works really nicely. I can come in here and customize this. So I might just have um, person if I want at the top there instead of a salesperson, and I can change the background color. Let's go to a nice color like that, and I can come into here as well and do the text color. I'll show you how to do that in the next one as well. So now that I know that this is working, I want to add some more slices so I can be more granular in what I'm trying to find. Because this slicer is grabbing the right data, I'm going to come across to here and go copy slicer. So I've just gone to the three dots on the right hand side, copy slicer, and wherever I put my cursor, it's going to paste it. So now I go control V and paste it. And I'll just move it a little bit across there so we see it there. And I'm going to do another one, control V as well, and grab a third one. So I've got three of them. Now, because I've copied and pasted, you'll see that they are all the same things I'm measuring, which is a bit useless. So I'm going to come into my three dots, edit slicer, come across over to here, and I'll blow this up for you so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to come to data. I'm going to change this to item, which is cool. I'm going to come to customize, and it's now, instead of person, I'm going to change it to item. I'm going to come in here, keep my text color like that, and I'll do a customized yellow one there, which looks a bit nicer. Beautiful. Then I'll repeat the process again. I'll come to this one over here, go to edit slicer. At the moment, it's saying person. I want to do quarter. I've just renamed it there. I'm going to change the background color to say uh, a blue, and now I've got my quarter. If I want to then resize these a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer, because this item one I can close down a bit and I can put in my person one, they are all customizable like that. Now, if I blow it out and go, I want to grab all my salespeople, but I only want to do my, I don't know, the, the, the sweet things like my cake, my donut, and those kind of things, and my slice, go OK. And I really want to look at just quarter, oh dear, I changed and changed my data around. So in here, come across to there, edit slicer, come back to data, change it from salesperson to item, oh, my quarter, like that, and then come back in here, and now I pick my quarter, let's go quarter one and quarter three, let's have a look at our sales, and you can see that it works. At the moment, this scale is adjusting as I go, but I could come into my, my, my edit my chart and fix the way in which the axes work as well. So that's how you in, in use a slicer to be able to look at your data easily and make a dynamic chart that you can refer to easily by using a pivot table and slices from your raw data. Mm -hmm.